everybody, E here. Welcome back to another story review. I don't really call this a, a book, a novel, or anything. It is awfully dark in here, and I apologize. Oh, look, look at that head. Cover up that head meat. Anyways, um, we're talking about The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. I read this one to Shell. I'd never read it. Um, I've read Joe Hill's uh, what's it called? When the Locusts Sing, something like that. His updated version, and me and uh, I mean, uh, me and Autumn, me and Shell are going to be dissecting. <laughs> it's a bug story. Get, no, okay. Um, we're going to be reading them back to back. Uh, Joe Hill's reboot, and we already read this one. I'm going to go ahead and review it. But me and her are going to do an episode of the Smartening. I know last episode was over a year ago, and that was for David Foster Wallace's Infinite Jest. We're trying to do other things. We're trying to get Shell back out of here, but it's hard, y'all. It's hard. Anyways, so The Metamorphosis is a story about Gregor Samsa, um, who every single time... Hey, Gregor. Uh, every single time I read his name, I giggled because I got a best friend named Gregor, and this is the kind of shit he writes. Um, it's not shit, but that's just my like one of my terms for stuff. This is the kind of stuff he writes. Um, Gregor Zane, by the way. X-A-N-E. If you're not reading him, you need... Do yourself proper and go grab one of those books. Unfuck that right now. Uh, great author. But this one, I don't like the way this book is written. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right out there and say, I don't like the way this guy writes or wrote. I don't like any of the translations. I might have loved it in his original voice, but I find stuff like this confusing to read. I always have. I don't know if it's a mild form of like dyslexia or what, um, that I don't understand when, you know, there's so many... So many commas and parenthetical statements. I have the same problem with Dickens. I just don't care to read that that type of writing. And this was this is pretty much the same way. I just didn't care for the writing at all. Now the story, the way I took it, this this Joker has a hundred and like eighty some odd pages, uh, but it has but the story itself is only fifty five pages. And the reason for that is there's a lot of notes on Kafka's life and all that stuff. I didn't read any of that. I don't plan on reading it until I read Hill's version again. Um, I had only read Hill's version prior, so me and Shell will talk about, you know, how these affected us differently. I love Joe Hill's version. Um, but I had no idea that that was the plot of the metamorphosis. I had no idea whatsoever until I was talking to somebody else, and they're like, hey, you know, it, how do you think it compares to the metamorphosis? I was like, I didn't know it compared to the metamorphosis. But we're going we're gonna to do that. Um, both both stories are I don't know how much how similar they are other than both stories involve young men waking up as creatures. Yeah, um, I think what I got from this, if I'm gonna deep dive into it, give it a literary assessment, I'm gonna say that this was that Gregor felt like he was I still can't say the name without thinking about my friend, but um, Gregor feeling like a burden on his family or something like that, like he was projecting. Because I do know something. I know Kafka had a bad relationship with his father. I do know that much about him. Um, but if I'm going to look at this from a literary standpoint, the the major vibe I got was he felt like a burden. Um, now, if that's right, wrong, or the other way, that's how I came across it. I'm not sure exactly what Shell's going to say, but that was my vibe from it, is he felt like a burden on his family, and that that burden is is told metaphorically through him literally becoming this this burden of this this creature beetle bug insect whatever he is literally uh you know he's become a burden he they, he can't help out he can't cook for himself he can't feed him well i guess he can't feed himself but he can't cook for himself you know and he where he was carrying the family financially all of a sudden there's no more carrying going on um i I might be missing something, so if you guys want to say, hey, no, dude, the whole point of the book condensed, here's here's my TLDR. If you want to say that down there, it's not going to hurt my feelings. If you guys want to talk about whether or not you like this book, I know this is kind of a non-review, um, because I'm not really going to talk about the book all that much. I'm just basically saying I don't like the writing. Um, and Shell had a completely different translation than I did. She was reading along with me as I was reading out loud. Um, and I liked her version much more, but supposedly this is the this is the version everyone says read. Um, and if it's because it's so like literally, you know, translated, I think that might be the problem with it. Why it's so it was so difficult for me to read because it was a literal translation, like word for word. Um, whereas I think hers is more of a, has takes more of a creative license because um, they changed quite a few sentences. 
and just made it easier to read instead of the the piled on commas and uh, parentheses and m dashes and all that stuff. But uh, have you read The Metamorphosis? What did you think about it? I'm not too keen on classics, period. If you're the same way or if you completely disagree and you don't like modern literature, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!